Congratulations on your success uh, spelling bee contest. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, could you tell me about previous spelling bees? Uh, my previous spelling bees. Yes. Um, I started joining spelling. I started competing in that spelling bee competition when I was in primary three. So when I was in when I was eight years old. Yeah. Um, so at the first year um, when I started competing, I really I would say that I really loved the competition. Um, I liked the way it worked and I felt like it had a great impact on my English skills. Um, so in the first year, I, um, I competed the various stages of the competition and in the championship B, um, I got fifth place. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that is a good achievement um, somehow because I was just eight years old and it was my first time. So. Um, in the second year, I felt motivated to um, continue competing and I worked really hard to get the champion prize yeah. um, because, well, I really wanted it. So I tried hard, and, but things didn't go as expected, um, although I was in one, one of the finalists and one of the top ten. Yeah. Yeah. And in the third year, though, um, I also tried really hard. And um, yeah, I was one of the finalists. But um, I had this one goal of being a champion and um, I still haven't re uh, achieved it yet. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll take a little break from Spelling Bee because I also had some big examinations coming up. So I rested for one year yeah. or two and I started competing again this year. Oh. Um, this year, uh, it was my last year that I could compete in the Spelling Bee. I knew that I only had that one shot. This was my final chance. So I had, um, I believed that I could do it. I dreamt of it. And well, at last I won it. Tell me about the preparations for this year's mm -hmm. contest. Um, okay, so at first when I got the list, the grade one to eight list for the spelling bee, um, I studied every night, gradually and gradually. Um, instead of studying it all on the day before the competition, um, I felt like it would be better for me. And I would get to memorize the words more and I would feel less nervous in the competition. So that was sort of my learning technique. Yeah. Um, after the great, great words, the great one to eight words, I studied the language list. So there were words from Latin, German, French, etc. Um, after that, um, I knew that it was not enough because yeah. In the Spelling Bee competition, they, they also ask unseen words. Oh. So I knew that if I read books and other literary words and improve on my English vocabulary in general, I knew that I, I could answer those words. So also I practiced reading, I read books oh. and prepared for this competition. Speller number six, lunatic. Lunatic. L U. N A T I C lunatic. Correct. Speller number six, there are two. I have heard two pronunciations for the following word. Please listen to both of them. Dossier or dossier. D O S S I E R dossier. Correct. S number six. The word is hideous. Hideous. H I D E O U S. Hideous. That is correct. Your favorite subject in school, and oh. tell me why you like it. Uh, 
um, to say that uh, I have many favorite subjects in school. Uh, I would say science is one of my favorite because I really like um, discovering new things. In science, you have many theories and um, things about the world that when you when you when you're learning that, you realize that you never knew that. And I like that feeling when you learn something new. Also, I want to be a doctor or something. I want to go to the path of medical science when I grow older, older, and I want to invent new things like discover new medicine and you know, oh. yeah, discover new things. So that's why I like science. Tell me about your future goals and how are you preparing for your future? Oh, okay. First of all, I will try to get good ITCSE results and try to get into a good university. Um, I believe that I can get into a world famous university and possibly one of the top 10 universities in the world. Well, that's my dream though. Um, I, I want to study medical science, medicine, or one of the science subjects because I'm interested in that particular subject. Um, my goal, my dream career would be, I would say, a doctor, but um, in a unique kind of way. I, I want to research um, on different ways of curing diseases and I want to create medicine uh, or cures for diseases that are not discovered yet and save the, I would say save the world, I mean that's my dream, from diseases like that. I want to create this educational system for my country or even for the world. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, is there anything else you would like to say? Um, yes, I would say believe in yourself. Oh. Um, believe in your goal, believe in your dream. Anything is possible and nothing is impossible. I learned that when I won the spelling bee, <laughs> most importantly. Also, be thankful, to be thankful to the people who supported you. Your friends, your family, your teachers. They are a huge part of your life and they can, they can help you achieve your goal and your dream. Also, if you're, a, if you're a student in my age or like when you're in 10th grade or something, try hard because I feel like this is the most important stage of your life. This, uh, this stage of your life will decide where you go in your life. So just this two years or three years, just try your best. And then you'll live, I don't know, 20 years or 30 years with wealth and luxury. And also be thankful of people who supported you, your friends, your family, if you are in a successful phase of your life, it's because of them who supported you. If they weren't there for you, you want to be where you are right now. So be thankful, never give up, and believe in yourself. Thank, thank you. you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. ပြန်းနေမှာအစီအစဉ်ရဲ့ဒုတိယပိုင်းကနေပြီးပြန်လည်ကြိုးဆိုပါတယ်။ဘရိတ်တက်ကြီးရှင်ထူးချွန်ထ
နိုင်ငံတကာနဲ့ရှင်ပေါင်းတန်းနဲ့ပညာကြီးကိုရဘူးအတွက်အမှတ်တော်ကအိတ်တင်ရွတ်ညွှန်တန်းနေနေတော့